All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a new shotgun. This is a Black Aces Tactical Pro Series S, S Max. It's a semi automatic 12 gauge shotgun, 18 and a half inch barrel, obviously walnut stock. It comes with uh, a few uh, choke tubes, I believe there's an improved cylinder in the gun, and you got a modified in full. Uh, with the little wrench and also comes with uh, a probably a receipt there and a pistol grip so you can take the stock off and just run the the bird's head pistol grip if you so desire actually uh, with that pistol grip the shotgun is only a couple inches longer than something like a, a Shockwave or, or a TAC-14 or something like that. Um, it's, it's an 18 and a half inch barrel. Uh, so, you know, four and a half inches, I guess. But that's really not very much. And this is an, you know, unquestionably legal shotgun and as far as I know, every state, um, maybe the maybe the plug or the uh, magazine extension wouldn't qualify in every state, but that would be really easy to just take off and put your standard magazine uh, on it. Um, so anyway, kind of a neat package. These are fairly cheap, and right now um, you can buy them. I mean, they've they've been in stock, so. It does say made in Turkey on the barrel. I'm not sure if that's the entire shotgun. I've heard that the the uh, receivers are made in the United States, but honestly, I don't know much about them. I just uh, I've always wanted a like a Remington 1100 um, police version with the with the walnut stock and the short barrel, uh, 18 and a half inch barrel. I've never been able to find one, so I saw this come up. Um, and I should say I've never been able to find a Remington 1100 that I wanted to pay the price for. Um, and this came up. It's like, wow, those are pretty cheap and really the same configuration. So I bought one. Now, I've read some different reviews that say you need to uh, run 50 rounds of you know, high breast buckshot or slugs or something like that uh, through this shotgun to break it in. Uh, I can tell you that right now it has about 80 rounds through it. I have shot when I when I got it. I took it out of the box and I ran uh, two boxes of light loaded seven and a half uh, birdshot through it, and it cycled everything fine. Um, I put five uh, rounds of buckshot through it just to try it out. Of course, it cycled that fine. And then I shot another 25 rounds of, uh, of birdshot. So, 80 rounds. Um, I did have one failure, but I was loosely holding the shotgun down by my waist to see if it would cycle with a birdshot load without my shoulder against the stock to to cycle against. If you know much about a semi-automatic shotguns, um, very few of them will cycle reliably right out of the box with a birdshot load when you're hold, soft holding it down by your waist. And it, it failed to eject on that round. So that was the only one. Um, if you squeeze it tied up against your body with your with your forearm and elbow at the waist, it cycles just fine. And from the shoulder, no problem at all. So I think uh, a lot of the people that have trouble with these cycling and they say they won't cycle uh, light loads is because they're not shooting the prop, not holding the shotgun properly. Um, yeah, some automatic shotgun needs to be braced into your shoulder pretty hard. So today, this is this is all the review I'm doing. Um, 
Yeah, I'm sure there's a million unboxing reviews on these things, so you can go watch those. But I'm going to go out and shoot it. I've got uh, a bunch of birdshot, and I may run a couple slugs through it so you can kind of see how it functions, and and uh, maybe a couple rounds of buckshot. But um, the main thing, I'm going to be running standard old uh, Winchester Oh, just low brass seven and a half, kind of their universal shells. Uh, Walmart bulk packs. I've got some Winchester, some Federal, some Estate, um, maybe something else in there. So we'll just run a, a few rounds through it of each and show you how it functions and uh, give you kind of a wrap up on it and tell you what I think about it. All right, first up, we've got Hornady uh, low recoil double watt buck, two and three quarter inch. And second will be an estate seven and a half uh, bird shot load, 25 yards. Buck shot on the left target. Bird shot on the right target. Let's go see what we got. All right. Let's go see what we got. A buckshot. was nine pellet. It looks like we got four of them on target. A couple of them went just off to the left and low. Uh, looks like maybe four. Five, six, seven, maybe eight, and possibly nine, or maybe eight and nine over here. Um, not the greatest pattern at 25 yards, so that may be uh, in need of uh, federal flight control. I may try one of those later. But the estate birdshot, that was seven and a half birdshot. Um, I was aiming right here, so still patterned a little bit low, but uh, most definitely hit our target. So I'm not going to count those pellets, but that's not terrible. All right, let's do some just blasting over here at some steel with some birdshot. All right, now we're about 15 yards away. And uh, I'm going to load up seven rounds of Estate. Looks like a 12 gauge handicap, one and an eighth ounce of seven and a half shot. This is a very light load, so we'll see how, how these function. Here we go. Looks like we ran those without any issue. So, here we go with Seven of the federal. Uh, these are just field and target loads, bulk packs from Walmart, seven and a half ounce and an eight. This will be the target down low. No 
issue with the federal. We got one more load, and that is the Remington Universal. Seven of these coming up. Well guys, there you have it. That was uh, the one magazine full and one in the tube on the, each of these rounds. So 21 rounds of uh, light birdshot, even this handicap load which is really light. No failures. We got one more load to try and I'm going to put a couple of these 12 gauge slugs through it on one of those steel targets.